गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास माय नेम इज सुधांश यादव एंड टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग द थर्ड लेक्चर फॉर मोशन फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ एंड टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग ओनली वन टॉपिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट मैं दिस टॉपिक आई नीड आई नीड यू टू हैव योर पेन एंड पेंसिल बिकॉज विल बी डूइंग न्यूमेरिकल एंड सम बेसिक फॉर्मलेज सो विल स्टार्ट विद बेसिक फॉर्मलेज दैट विल बी डिस्कसिंग ओके दैट विल बी यूज इन दिस टॉपिक डिस्प्लेसमेंट ओके सो द फर्स्ट फॉर्मुला दैट वी आर रिवाइजिंग इज ऑफ विच विच इज रिलेटेड टू सर्कल ओके Now suppose we are having a circle with center O and radius r. So we are having a circle O with center r. Now I want you to find the circumference of the circle. Now what is the formula for the circumference of the circle? We all know circumference of the circle is given by the formula two pi r. Okay. And uh, suppose we are having radius ten centimeter. We are having radius how much? Ten centimeter. So by putting r is equal to ten centimeter, you can calculate what? Uh, circumference of the circle. Now I am putting the value, and the value of pi is twenty-two upon seven. Okay. So on putting the value, pi becomes twenty-two upon seven, and r is ten. So two twenty ja four forty four forty will become, and you can also convert it in decimal point. I am leaving it as it is. Four forty upon seven is the circumference of the circle. Okay. So this is the basic formula. What is the formula for circumference of circle? Two pi r. Okay. Now the second formula that we'll be using is related to square. Now suppose we are having a square of side ten centimeter, and if it is a square, then each side will be equal to what? Ten centimeter. Okay. So this is ten. This is ten. This is ten, and this is ten. Now suppose I want to find the diagonal length AC. I want to find the diagonal length AC. So We'll be using which theorem? Uh, Pythagoras theorem. Uh, in a square, every angle is equal to ninety degree. So now, I, now I'll be using Pythagoras theorem in the triangle ABC. Okay. So I'm drawing only the triangle part out of the square. It becomes ABC. So now this is ten. This is ten. This is ten, and this is ten. So on using pythagoras we know the formula of pythagoras hypotenuse square is always equal to square of perpendicular and square of uh, base so ab ka square which is the base and bc ka square which is perpendicular okay hypotenuse ka square is equal to base ka square plus perpendicular ka square now this becomes 10 ka square plus 10 ka square so this gives us 100 plus 100 okay So hundred plus hundred is how much? Two hundred. Okay. And the, this square will become square root. Now we'll make the pairs. Everyone knows how to make a pair pair in um, square root. See what you do? You make factors of this. Like suppose we are having two hundred. So what you will be doing? You make factor two hundred. Like suppose I'm making it out of ten. Ten two is twenty. Ten two is two hundred. So I am having two ten two times one two times. So out of this, we'll take, we'll make pair, and then out of two, one ten will come out. So it becomes ten root two. So the length of diagonal is ten root two centimeter. Okay. So initially we were having this square A B C D. Now we are have calculated the length of the diagonal is ten root two. Okay, by using which formula? Pythagoras formula. So we have completed these two formulas. Now we'll move to our topic displacement. In the previous lecture, we studied distance. If you remember, distance was the actual length of the path traveled by the body. Now, what is displacement? In displacement, we use sine plus or minus when the body is traveling at a distance. For example. Suppose we are having these two points, A three points. Suppose A, B, and C, and this is ten centimeter. This is ten centimeter. Suppose I went from A to B. So how much distance I have traveled? Ten centimeter. And from B to C again, I have traveled what? What? Uh, have, I have traveled again ten centimeter. So my total distance now becomes distance becomes ten plus ten. That is twenty centimeter. Now again, if I am going back from C to B, again I am traveling ten. 
तो ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन बिकम्स वॉट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर ओके सो दिस इज डिस्टेंस एक्चुअल लेंथ ऑफ द पाथ ट्रेवल इज कॉल्ड वॉट डिस्टेंस नो वॉट इज डिसमेंट डिसमेंट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन इनिशियल पोजिशन एंड फाइनल पोजिशन ओके वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ए वी वेंट टू सी एंड देन वी केम बैक टू बी नो वट इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए एंड बी टेन इज इट इज टेन सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली सी वी कैन कैलकुलेट की दिस इज द इनिशियल पॉइंट दिस इज द फाइनल पॉइंट तो फाइनल शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ बिटवीन ए एंड बी इज वॉट टेन सेंटीमीटर नो द अनदर मैथड टू कैलकुलेट डिसप्लेसमेंट इज अनदर मैथड फॉर कैलकुलेट डिसप्लेसमेंट आई एम टेलिंग यू ओके फॉर डिसप्लेसमेंट फॉर डिसप्लेसमेंट वी यू साइन कन्वेंशन प्लस और माइनस विल कंसिडर दिस डायरेक्शन एज पॉजिटिव एंड बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन एज नेगेटिव एग्जाम्पल now if uh, we travel to a a b then we travel b c and we, then we travel back to c b now this direction will be taken positive so when we went from a to b it is 10 plus 10 when we went from b to c it is again plus now we went from c to b we are moving in opposite direction it will be negative so you cancel out plus minus so what is the displacement 10 cm so this is how displacement is calculated and displacement you have to keep in mind sign conventions what are sign conventions that you fix one direction like in this direction we have fixed this direction will be positive and this direction will be negative so when we went from a to b 10 b to c 10 and then we are, when we are reversing our direction cb it is minus 10 so 10 plus 10 minus 10 it gives us it gives us the value 10 cm so now i am writing uh, two basic points for displacement that you have to keep in mind okay <coughs> displacement first point shortest path now you have to keep this in mind shortest path between initial and final position theek okay? hai the shortest path between initial and final position is called what displacement now the second point that in displacement direction is considered in displacement direction is considered direction is considered means you have to fix one direction if you are moving towards right then you have to keep the direction positive and if in, if you are moving it towards left then you have to keep the direction negative this is, so this is what displacement is okay we have got the concept now now we'll do one numerical okay one or two numerical on displacement depending on whether you got the topic or not okay you can leave the uh, doubts in the comment box if you have any okay so we will start we are starting with the question number 1 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज अ बॉडी कंप्लीटेड वन सर्कुलर पाथ इन टू सेकेंड्स विथ स्पीड ऑफ टू मीटर पर सेकेंड so now i want you to pause the video and uh, try this numerical yourself the question is a body went uh, a body uh, completed a body went i'm uh, correcting the question a body completed a body completed one circular path in 2 seconds with a speed of 2 meter per second find displacement okay pause the video and then come back for the solution you have to find the displacement uh, after 2 second when it has completed the round you keep that in mind you, it has completed the round okay now i am giving you the solution i hope you got the solution suppose this we are taking a circle and uh, a b suppose i am marking any point a b c d now suppose body started from this point and it it has completed one round so which means it again came back to which point a point now a was the initial point and a is also the final point so the distance between a and a is what zero so what we are uh, taking it out of this this is uh, is the concept that if body returns to the in, uh, after a long time a short time to the same position from where it is started then that uh, in that case the displacement is always what zero so it went from a to c c to b b to d d to a then finally it is coming back to the same point if the initial and final point coincides then displacement is zero okay now i'll be writing this if initial and final points 
on the side. Then displacement is zero. Okay. So this is displacement. If the initial is uh, initial point is coinciding with the final point, then displacement becomes what zero. Now the second numerical we are doing on displacement. A body, a body moved from A to B in the given circular path of radius 10 centimeter. Okay, a body is move, has moved from A to B. I'll draw the figure. Uh, from A to B and the radius of the circle is 10 cm. You copy down the question quickly, pause the video and copy down the question. And uh, <coughs> A to B it has moved. So from A to B it has moved and the radius is 10 cm. So we have to find the displacement. Now initial point is, the uh, question is find the displacement from A to B. Okay. Now initial point is A and final point is B. So the shortest distance between A and B is what? 10 plus 10. Because it, in this question, it is not returning to the same point. It has moved from A to B. So the shortest distance between A and B is what? 10 plus 10, it becomes what? 20. So the answer to this question is displacement is 20 centimeter. Okay. Now I'm giving you one question for homework. You have to try and submit to me. The third question is, <clears throat> again, you have to find the displacement. Body has moved from A to C along this path. A to C, we have to find this distance because if it has moved from A, A it has moved from A to B and then finally from B to C. Now the shortest distance between initial position and final position is not AB is not BC, it is what AC and the side of this square is 2 cm. Now find displacement, this is your homework. Find displacement and uh, I am giving you the answer so that you can copy and match it with your work whatever you have done. So the answer to this question will be the displacement in this question will be 2 root 2 centimeter. What will be the answer? 2 root 2 centimeter. Okay. Thanks for watching.